We're going to talk a little bit about ground control because ground control is super critical for accuracy, for project accuracy, and often it's misunderstood or people don't quite understand everything that they need. And now this is not a going to be a uh, ground control class because we offer a training class regarding a lot of different things with mapping. But I wanted to introduce Steve Myers from Florida, uh, Florida Drone Supply because Steve here is the mapping guru in, re in uh, terms of exactly offering this type of training and technical assistance for the company. So thank you uh, very much for coming on board and uh, talking just a little bit about the ground control points. So right here we have a portable ground control. And, and I'm just looking at it right now. This is extremely light. It's very, very nice. So I'd like to just to start out with basically explaining um, that ground control, when you're trying to lay it down traditionally, you know, like everyone has been doing prior to these portable points, you're going to have to have a survey tech go out, lay down the control. Sometimes they're going to be spray painted or on, or, you know, they're going to be, they can also be almost be permanent on there. Uh, or difficult to get off of there. I mean, there, there's a lot of different ways people do it. But from my experience from the, the mapping projects that I've done for clients, the relative accuracy can vary significantly depending upon the consistency and the technique on how that uh, tech is going to lay that control down. Everything from the angle of the sticks and everything. So there's a lot of different factors that go involved in that. And right here, these portable ground control points seem to take all that out of it. Absolutely. So, so while this is not a yeah. survey or an engineering course, the, the, it's important to understand the difference between absolute accuracy and relative accuracy. The relative accuracy is where something is on a point uh, on this globe, and then the relative accuracy is uh, relative to the other uh, images that are taken. And the RTK is important for absolute accuracy, and ground control points is uh, important for relative accuracy. And so from a relatively relative accuracy standpoint, these ground control points, as you mentioned, are much more time efficient and excellent from, uh, from a time perspective. So you don't have to go out, you don't have to pay a surveyor uh, mm -hmm. to go out and create uh, land monuments or uh, yes. survey marks on what you're doing. Right. And these are portable, they're foam, they're lightweight, uh, they're they have a solar panel on them that gives them their energy, so you don't have to plug them in at night or, or the night before. It has the target's uh, markings on them, so you know where the center of the target is. And it also has a single button here. So the way it works is, is that you take this, you should have a minimum of three ground control points for your entire map. Sometimes there's issues with it. We recommend a minimum of five, uh, but three is uh, sufficient for the needs. So you take the ground control points and you lay them out, not on the perimeter, uh, just inside the perimeter of your map that you have laid out. And you, just for ballpark figures, you can use uh, about six ground control points per 100 acres. So depending upon the type of mission that you're doing, uh, six to nine ground control points would be sufficient. With that in mind, these uh, arrow points, they're called arrow points by propeller, they come in a package of 10 and they're uh, $6,000. Right. So they're portable, they're lightweight, they're self-energized with a solar panel. They have a single button on it. When you lay it, when you lay them out, uh, you push the button on it, it will turn on. It'll be a single red light, and then you go lay them out for what you're mapping. Then it takes about 45 minutes for them to be out in order to capture the links and the connection to network to understand where they are to have the increased accuracy. You can leave them out less, but the accuracy will not be as great. So between 45 minutes and we'll say an hour is more than sufficient. Yeah. And you come back to your starting point, you fly your mapping mission with your drone, it goes, captures the images, you come back, you put away, and then you pick up these particular arrow points in reverse order. And when you pick them up in reverse order, you push the button again, it connects to your phone, it downloads the data as far as the accuracy on that, and then you use that data when you're stitching it together. So when you, when you map, you have uh, multiple images, hundreds or thousands of images, and then as you're, uh, it will incorporate the data from the ground control points in order to increase the accuracy of your orthomosaic image. Very good. And, you know, this is just a crash course on this stuff. And, you know, Steel City uh, Joints Flight Academy offers mapping courses, training courses down here with 
uh, Steve and Michael at Florida Drone Supply. So, um, you know, the big thing, I guess, to take away from this, too, is that not only is it just more con very convenient and, and project efficient, but also it could be very just saving for the overall uh, the cost on the project because we could be looking at thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. The more control that you need to lay down, it's going to cost more. Absolutely. So it's uh, extremely time efficient. It's important to understand that you don't have to hire a surveying crew or a technician to come out and lay down the monuments. You can do it yourself. Make they're portable and. Uh, you can take them from one job to the next. The other thing is, is they do not have to be in the exact same location. So let's just say you're doing a construction project and they want you wanted uh, they wanted to do a comparative analysis uh, as each milestone progresses. You don't have to lay these down at the exact same point each time. They will self-identify at each new location that you do it. So you will have a highly accurate uh, image, the stitched image, even when the ground control points are at. Uh, uh, located at different points within the uh, mapped area. Great, you know, I mean, we've learned so much just on this section right here. Probably, this would even be good just to have in its own video, just to explain ground control points and all that kind of stuff. But we're also going to incorporate this into the Phantom 4 Pro RTK video that we're doing as well. So, on that said, uh, we're going to uh, toss this back to our and go back to the the video now. And uh, thanks again, Steve. All right, we'll do. Thank you. Okay. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.